Friends, foes, and other watchers on the internet, my name is Matt, and you're watching Hogwash Gaming. And today, I'm going to show you another game that I grew up with. It's a game about an army, and you're trying to capture the enemy flag. It's called Stratego. The goal of the game is to try and find your opponent's flag. The flag cannot move, and any unit that is able to move can take it. The game of Stratego is comprised of two armies, and each army is built up out of 12 types of units. But don't worry, only half of them have special rules. The basic gameplay is as follows. Each unit can move one space, either vertically or horizontally. Combat occurs when one piece tries to occupy a square that is already occupied by an opponent's piece. What happens is the two pieces are put together and you compare what numbers they have. The smaller the number, the more powerful the unit is. So in this case, red wins because the blue is higher. If by chance two units that have the same value fight each other, then both are removed from the game. Now, as I said before, there are some units with some special moves. And the first I want to talk about is the Scout. The Scout can move any number of spaces in one direction for a turn. For instance, you can move here. Just remember that by doing so, your opponent can tell that that is a Scout, because only one type of piece can do that. Next up, there's the Bomb. And bombs cannot move, but they defeat almost every unit that tries to engage in combat with it. Next, number eight is called a miner, and miners are the only unit that can actually disarm an opponent's bomb. So, you would move a miner on top of a bomb square, and the bomb will be removed. And lastly, there's the spy. And the spy has one purpose, to kill the marshal. The spy loses any other combat, and if the marshal attacks the spy, then the spy is defeated. The marshal is the highest rank possible in this game, and can only be defeated by fighting another marshal or being attacked by a spy. Of course, that being said, if a marshal steps on a bomb, of course they're going to be defeated. Now that you know all the basic rules, it's time to talk some strategy. Now, as you know, everyone's trying to find your flag piece. So choose a spot on your side of the map that you can defend pretty easily. Or, if you want to throw somebody off, throw out somewhere where it's not being defended. Next, bomb placement is very important. A lot of people make a little cross shape of bombs around the flag so that if anyone comes near the flag, they will be blown up, unless they're using a miner to explore the territory. This can work, but if anyone finds a bomb, then they can figure out where your flag is very easily. So what I like to do, is I like to put something like a number six there. And then I put my flag somewhere away from all the bombs. So I just scatter the bombs here and there, and have the flag in some unprotected area. So that can help throw off your opponents especially if you defend this guy with all of your reserves. Another thing you could do is you could put your flag in a corner, which is really hard to get to because you can only get to it by two sides, and then put a row of bombs out here, and then put your highest powered pieces back here. So you have this line of defense with bombs, and then once they get through the bombs, then you've got your strongest units right here ready to wipe out anything that's trying to get to your flag. Another thing, the one you're setting up, is you want to keep your spy in a place where he can escape very quickly, but he isn't on the front line. This way, if your opponent is going to go all crazy on you and throw his marshal right into the fray, you can take him out very quickly. Another way to set up the bombs is to place them where the land is bottlenecked by these lakes, which are impassable. That way, any troops that come across here will be destroyed by the bombs, unless your opponent thought ahead and put some miners in their front line. Be warned, however, that this setup right here will lose you the game instantaneously, 
because if you cannot move one troop, then you automatically lose the game. So leave a space for your troops to go through. Just remember that moving all your troops through this area kind of tells your opponent that uh, your troops can't move from here. So those are the basic rules for Stratego. So have fun, come up with your own tactics in order to rule the board. And until next time, this is Hogwash, over and out.